For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. You could divide it into three categories um, of ways in which things could go wrong if we're unlucky in this transition. So one is this kind of AI running amok. Um, and the answer to that seems to be this kind of research to do the technical work to figure out how to align powerful AI systems. Um, the second category would be if, if these AIs become very powerful, they become very powerful tools. And we know if we just look at the history of technology that humans have used technologies for all kinds of purposes, some evil. We use a lot of technologies to wage war against each other or to oppress each other. So there is a concern about if we have increasingly powerful tools, what would we do with them to each other? Uh, so that, broadly speaking, points in the direction of um, improving governance institutions and ethics and other practices. And we have mm. a group working on that. And, that. and then there's the third category as well, which is um, quite neglected, which is not just what the AI might do to us or what we might do to each other using AI tools, but what we might do to these digital minds. Um, if you think that at some point they might become moral subjects, if, if they can become conscious or otherwise maybe have some of the attributes that give rise to moral status, then I think there is a risk that we might uh, mistreat them. Um, and that uh, a, a great deal of morally undesirable consequences could flow from that. I'd be, be really interested in your thoughts on this, Roz. Where, where, where do you stand? Um, Nick says he's fretfully optimistic <laughs> i love the phrase of of the future of ai um what what what's your are you generally an optimist or worried about where things are heading yeah my my worries are maybe different than the ones usually parroted in the science fiction movies uh which are designed to be entertaining right and cataclysmic sure. uh i think the real worries right now are more that uh people use AI to amplify the good or bad things they do. And there are people on our planet who don't share this ethic that all people have equal worth. They think they have more worth. And their uh, goal is to preserve and protect their power first and handle other people's needs uh, second to that. And many of them see an opportunity to use AI to uh, achieve their goals. Uh, and when they have a little power or more power than others, they take the AI and amplify that more. And that's a function that could uh, be very hard to restore some equity to. So my bigger worry actually is when um, very powerful people who don't have others' best interests in mind, or they may say they do, but they don't act that way, uh, they use the technology to consolidate yeah. their power. I see AI as not operating on its own. I see it as something we have made and those things we've made are, uh, you know, we're ontologically superior to that which we make, not to that which we beget, but to that which we make. And that uh, we have to recognize there's somebody paying for that system uh, and they're getting money from somewhere and they've got power from some source. And that's where I think we have to keep our eye on the real worries. I think the rest of it is uh, Hollywood entertainment and distraction.